which one was that on we talked about earlier is the board member or the scholarship committee well we've got the scholarship committee person yeah then. so we're set on that um the board member if if we don't get the person we, we function as a board of eight until we get a person but you your next meeting is when is the, it's the 22nd the fourth it's the fourth friday this month which i believe is the 22nd so if you don't have anyone in mind and maybe you do Yeah, we, we have, we just need one individual. Well, I think if they, they themselves, their board has such been out and talked to these people, we know that these two are willing, rather than our city here, coming up with a name, and then they have to talk with them and so forth. It's, I think it's And sometimes it's, it's hard, difficult to get someone for these positions. How long is this uh, board position for, Sharon? It, our terms are five years. Um, we meet the third Friday of every month. Usually, every, we meet every month. So it's, and then we ask you to serve on. Does any of the council know these two Oh, yeah, I've been on several boards with Dennis Wilson. I think he'd be a very good choice. I think either one would be yeah, a good choice. Uh, what does Dennis do? He's a retired teacher. teacher. He doesn't do anything right now, though, right? Volunteers yeah. everywhere. Retired. Since our carrier already has a job, she might be glad that if Dennis was in there. Yeah, I mean, I think Dennis would be somebody that would make the time for it, would have a background, would be. Only thing, only thing that bothered me is she said she'd like to have that accounting background from Carrie. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's a nice asset. Right. And, uh, you know, I think we have two very worthy. It's hard to make a choice and get two good in. Exactly. You can't go wrong. I nominated them as well. Second. Any more discussion? Here you go. Go for June. Go to Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you, Council. Thank, Thank you, very you much. Sharon. So, will you be notifying them? Yes. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is Vicki Tolman. Present our new April 15 coordinator and some updates. Good evening, and thank you for a few minutes on the agenda this evening. I hope you all had happy holidays. I'm sorry I didn't get to your December meeting, but it uh, wasn't possible. Tonight, I'd like to introduce Miranda Maxwell. As you know, our Echo 15 position has been uh, vacant since October. Miranda uh, is a local Decatur County native. And uh, she accepted the position, and we're thrilled that she did, and she started the 14th of December. She has a very strong background in grant writing and working with grants, and as you all know, we're very concerned about our abilities to sustain this position past 2010, so we think she has a lot of attributes that will be very helpful in that. So I'd just like to give Miranda a couple of minutes to let her tell you a little bit about herself. Thank you. I won't take much of your time this evening. Um, again, my name is Miranda Maxwell. Um, I am originally from Greensburg. Uh, went through school K through 12 here. Uh, went on to Hanover College and have spent uh, my time since leaving Hanover in the nonprofit sector. As Vicki mentioned, a lot of emphasis on fundraising, but also a lot of emphasis on community building and working with a number of groups and communities to build coalitions and um, push initiatives forward. So I'm really thrilled to be bringing all of that back to Greensburg and Decatur County and be able to give back to my community in that way. Um, again, going into this year, our big focus is gonna shift to our adult population, uh, adult workforce, education, training, retraining, um, as well as the, the sustainability piece and deciding how we want this to move forward after Lily funding ends at the end of the year, um, how we want it to look, and I look forward to uh, keeping you all updated as that evolves and also getting input from all of you uh, as far as what our community needs and what the vision for education <coughs> in our community is. So, thank you very much and look forward to working with all of you in the coming months. You you me, excuse me, you mentioned oh. you went K through 12 here. What, yes. what is your maiden name? Bailey. Bailey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And as I said, we're delighted to have Miranda as part of the team. Uh, Sister, I'm just thrilled. You know very well. Uh, 
Um, I just wanted to give you a brief update on a recent trip that I was privileged enough to, to be able to take. Uh, the first week of December, I accompanied the Center for Automotive Research to Turin and Milan, Italy. And the trip was paid for by two private investors to our board, well, actually one private investor to our board, and also by the South Central Group. The South Central Group paid the $3,500 registration fee that uh, was required just to be able to take the trip. And uh, Hoosier Energy and Decatur County REMC paid for accommodations and for the air ticket. And so I uh, was privileged to be a member of this delegation that went, and I can tell you that, that the whole mission was very well planned out and put together and executed by the people in CAR. They didn't give us um, much time to rest and relax, and in spite of the fact that I didn't have luggage for the first four days, uh, <laughs> We met with high-level executives of Fiat and also the president of Fiat Purchasing as well as uh, four or five of their procurement people at Fiat. And uh, uh, the U.S. Commercial Service arranged for a doing business with the U.S. seminar, and it was attended by at least 40. I believe I emailed the mayor a copy and her probably got a copy of the attendance list that was on there. And then they also arranged for us to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with uh, eight or nine companies that are interested in doing some kind of business here in the U.S. Having said that, all, all of the companies that we met with uh, are looking for some kind of a joint venture partner. There's none of them that are willing to say that they're ready to make the investment and just start out on their own in the U.S. because they feel like uh, they don't have the experience. They would rather start out with um, with a company or a partner over here that has the experience. So I am putting together profiles of all the companies that we met with, and uh, I've already talked to GCOM, and I'm going to be talking to the rest of our local industries and providing them with that in, uh, information to see if any of them are interested in approaching these companies, if it would be a good fit for them, and increase their, their business that way. Uh, the other thing we're working on right now is uh, I've been contacted by Main Source Bank. Once a month, they bring in all of their market presence for a day here in Greensburg, and they run what they call Main Source University, and they asked if I would put a program together to do, uh, which we will be doing at the end of January. So I have pulled in a team of a couple of experts in the economic development field, and we're putting together a program basically called uh, Economic Development 101, and we will be setting up teams and working with these folks. And their goal at the end of the day is they would like their market presidents to know why they should stay involved in their local economic development corporations and organizations. So that's one thing that's taking a lot of time right now. Also, while I was traveling, we uh, had a couple of RFIs come in, and I have to compliment Natasha, she managed to go through the RFIs and she put together some very professional looking responses to it and handled that on her own while it was done. We are, um, at this point in time, we are still in the mix for those projects, but uh, you never know, you know, when you might fall out of the, out of the mix either, and quite often you never know why you fall out of the mix if you do. So we have seen a little bit of an uptick in the level of activity and the inquiries that we're getting. We've also uh, recently put an ad in, in one of the trade magazines, uh, Area Development. We had three responses to that particular ad that we have responded to as well. Um, Decatur County Rural Water was trying to get an EDA grant. They had filed their preliminary application. They have not been invited to file the, find the full application, so we are working with them looking for alternative sources of funding in order to be able to provide fire protection to the industrial sites out by the outright islands. Also, what I brought you tonight is I thought at the end of the year, you might like to see a recap of the loans that we have made from our revolving loan fund over the past year. So 
just going to hand out a brief recap on that.